Hello and welcome back to Let's Complete Zenith. I'm going to hit continue here and we're going to get right back into the game. It always starts you here whenever you continue a saved game, but uh, we keep all of our stats and collectibles. So I'm going to run around here a little bit and grab one of the secrets that is not actually counted as a secret and it's not very secret at all, but is something that's fun to grab and fun to see. So I just need to build up uh, quite a lot of uh, speed around here. And I think I am almost to enough height. There we go. Uh, not quite. So if I jump off of this wall and then uh, break a little bit more than that, there we go. I seem to be stuck. Let's see if I can get unstuck. There we go. That's not quite right. So yeah, there's this sign that says there's something awesome up here. And then you get up here and it says... It's you. You're awesome. And so now we've seen that. We can head back down and there's actually... A collectible up here that I missed so we can see that as well but we just have to get out of here for to begin with and I will work on my little speed running tactic here uh, didn't quite get it so I'm gonna uh, practice it again because it's whoop. okay so come straight off of that and up, and then off of there and I actually want to hit it there so that I get onto that. But of course now I'm actually going much too fast because where I want to go is over here. And now I have to bring up the radar because there is a zine page right here. And so now we have one of 23 secrets and I can hit back, and now we can go to Zine, and we have a new page of the Zine. And I will let you pause the video if you want, and take a look at that. Zine pages are pretty cool, but I don't really want to linger on them too long. So let's head back towards the city, and we can look for a couple more Zine pages. So let's bring up the radar, because I don't know where all of them are, but I know that they're kind of scattered around. And I see lots of trainers, but not lots of um, zine pages. And the, the radar is a little bit tricky to use. Now it looks like we're getting close to a trainer, which uh, seems a little odd. Oh, okay, they're still quite a ways away. But I know I know they're they're out in the desert places. I don't know exactly where they are, so if we don't come across any, that's fine. I will just carry on. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see what's actually on my radar, because I know YouTube compresses these videos quite a lot. I am a little bit surprised by this trainer that I'm coming up on. I think I know what it is. I think there's a trainer, like, up on the rooftops over here somewhere, and I don't know exactly where, but that might be something worth finding. I don't know if I can get to it without the speed key because it's quite high up, but let's give it a shot. It's up this way, so let's work on getting this bit down because this is something that I have to do for the speed run. And up there. And then down to there. And that overshot a little bit. So there we go. Onto the rail. And now, let's see, I think they're up there, actually. So... 
Yeah, I just I'm not I'm not sure how to get up there without the speed key. So let's let's put that aside for now. Actually, I think what I want to do is provoke the hawk, see if I am equipped to defeat the hawk based on what I've been learning about the game and the Catco Monsters game and based on how much I've leveled up. And I can even level up a little bit more because I have $18. So let's see. What do I want to level up? Probably a little more attack. Let's see. So $18. So that is, I think, two times three times three so I could do four five six let's do there and there and there there and there and then another four and that'll do it so now Let's see. Can we beat the hawk? Uh, not quite. But we can get the capsule. And we can give it another shot. Maybe try and get further out into the desert. I think that might be the way to do it. Amazing how long it takes to fall down from there. Really gives a sense of scale. And I, I'm not sure, I think it might be better to go further out into the desert. Now I know there is a desert race around here, so we can do, let's see, I may have already done it actually. Let's check our missions, cactus break, oh we haven't done the cactus break, I thought for some reason that we had uh, finished it. There's also, uh, there's a capsule that I grabbed while I was doing a different video and so I will show you where it is because I accidentally grabbed it doing something else. For some reason I thought we had all of the cactuses but let's grab them real quick and that should not be too much trouble. Whoops! So if I go too fast to actually hit them, that will uh, that will cause me no end of problems. But there's so many of them that it doesn't really matter. Like we can just grab these two right here, and then we have to actually take them back to the Zine office, which is something I forgot about. So let's head over there. For some reason, I feel like I'm going sideways. Not anymore, but I seem to look that way for a moment. So we have to head back up to uh, the other end of the canyon, to the area where we picked up the zines, and where we uh, started our job. And that will complete that mission. And then I think the next thing to do is go back and try some of the time trials again. Because that city one, I feel like I'm so close to it. I feel like it is something that should be well within my reach. So let's head up here. And there is our drop point, and then we'll head back through the canyon. Let's see what, um, so City Floor, Dune Dash, Mega Score, and Get to the Moon, we still have to do. And I think we have to unlock a couple of missions as well. So let's, uh, let's set Dune Dash as our next target. And I think the start for that is pretty close to the end of this canyon. So we'll slide, slide, slide along here. Did we get this capsule? Indeed we did. And then along here. Can we still... Ah, uh, no. Not quite going up anymore. Alright. And let's fly up here and then use the gravity to gain some speed. 
Though, of course, once we get to the Dune Dash, we're going to be stopping entirely. So we'll do the, we'll do the Dune Dash, and then I'll show you uh, where the capsule that I accidentally picked up was. And then maybe try the city floor again. Okay, so we have to stop in the zone, and we kind of want to be facing this way. And let's see if we can do this. This is a, a rather long one. And it's going to involve some jumps like that one. That we have to figure out how to get all the way up there. But it's well within reach if we're going fast enough. And we're just going so far across the dunes. It's, it's amazing kind of seeing the scale of the area that we're in. And that's, that's one thing that I really like about this game is its sense of scale. Especially when you're going across the dunes, but also just going in among the buildings and how much bigger than you they are. And I think we're going to turn left again. Yep. And we are getting pretty low on time. I don't know... Okay, so this is the finish line. So we just have to get to the finish line uh, before time runs out. But it looks like it's going to be pretty tight just because look how far away that thing is. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it. That's too bad. That is really too bad. So let's head into the city. We can save that for later. Once we get the speed key, of course, the time trials will be much, much easier. So we can head over to the moon as we are able. So let's head up into the city. Let's go up this... let's see, we're going to have to go around this corner and back to the very bottom of the city because we have to build up quite a lot of speed in order to get to the area that I showed you, or that I want to show you, excuse me. So yeah, I was recording the preview video for my channel, the new trailer, which should be up now. Uh, should have been up for a while, actually. And I was just kind of going around my usual routes, and I hit a jump that I don't normally hit, and I ended up actually landing someplace that I hadn't been before and grabbing a capsule kind of without realizing it. And so I'm going to try and show you where it was since I wanted to really capture it as part of this video. And actually I may just edit it in, I don't know. We'll see. So we head up this way, and I haven't quite figured out what the best pattern is, what the best rhythm is for mashing to gain speed, but you can gain quite a lot of speed if you mash at the right rhythm. And onto there, and that will gain us enough speed to get where I want to go. So we go up this way, and around here. And then we head in this way, and we go off of this, and that lets us go down here, and then we go... So that's how you get to... there's a capsule right in the middle of this platform. That's all I wanted to show you. So now let's, uh, let's try the city floor again. Let's see if we can do that, and then I think I will wrap it up for this episode. So let's head over to the start line, and I feel I feel so so much like I can actually do this. Like it feels, you know, I'm I'm just making little mistakes, and I just have to not make any of the mistakes. And in every run that I do this, there's a mistake that I make, and then I make a different mistake in the next run. So if I can just not make any of those mistakes because, you know, in each run there's a mistake that I don't make as well. So, 
I am capable of doing every part of this run. And uh, that was a mistake that I have made in the past, so let's just head back around and give that another shot. So we will come up to the zone, and we will stop in the zone, and then we will head off and try and build up as much speed as we can going along the ground. And I tried to make a Just Cause video uh, recently, and in that one I talked about how you have, when you have a drawing, when you make a drawing, you, the first thing you do is the pencils, and the pencils really determine a lot of what the drawing is going to look like, but the pencils are something that generally nobody's going to see. And in the same way, I think that failures and falls are a part of a trick that are essential to the trick, essential to making the trick, but that generally people don't see. And part of this channel, part of what I want this channel to be, is sharing with you the, the entire process of putting together a trick and of, of getting better at something and eventually succeeding. And so you will see my falls and you will see my successes as well. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please consider leaving a like. And if you have any thoughts about this episode, I would love to hear about them in the comments. But most of all, have a great rest of your day.